Welcome into DRF Daily, DRF Sportsbooks betting live stream that's coming at you each and every day that we have football, but we have a jam-packed Thanksgiving that we want to get ahead of. There's three games on the slate for tomorrow. Before we jump into that, as a reminder, follow us wherever you are on social media. We're right there with you. Follow us at DRF Sportsbook. Game three of the Thanksgiving slate is the Patriots and Vikings. Kind of a snooze fest when I first looked at it. Patriots, Vikings, what? What good is this game? But I'm here to tell you, huge money to be made in this game, folks. Patriots are the dogs, plus two and a half. They're plus 120 on the money line. Hammer the Patriots money line, folks. Hammer, hammer, hammer. The Patriots are going into Minnesota and winning this game. And I know what I just said. Don't buy into last week and what happened with the Vikings. But I'm here to tell you, last week was the Vikings. The Vikings, I I know it's been said the entire week. We've said going into last game. The Vikings have a negative point differential. The Vikings have a negative point differential. They are tops of the NFC North. They're one of the top teams in the NFC record-wise. They have a negative point differential. They get blown out when they lose. And this Patriots team is the best defense in the league, according to DVOA and EPA. EPA's expected points added. The Patriots each drive have a negative expected points added. This defense is elite. This defense doesn't get the respect it deserves. This defense is going to put Kirk Cousins in the meat grinder two or three or four times, and he is going to be seeing ghosts a la Sam Darnold. I'm all over the Patriots in this one. I think it might be a low-scoring game. The total set at 42 and a half. I think it's going to be hovering around there. I think it's going to be a great defensive game, but not a good offensive game. The only thing the Vikings really have going for them is Justin Jefferson. He might be able to tear up this Patriots secondary. I don't know. But overall, this Patriots defense can give Kirk Cousins looks that he hasn't seen in years. I'm all in on the Patriots. And then when you look at advanced statistics for the Vikings, they just leave you scratching your head. How in the world is this team have this record, right? There's, there's absolutely no way to figure this out. They're not in the top half of the league in any advanced statistical offensive category they're 15th in epa per play on defense and they're but they are eighth against the run so maybe you force mac jones to throw it a little bit more or bailey zappy i know it's mac jones now but it's it's such an interesting qb controversy happening up in new england but you you, maybe you force mac jones to throw it he makes a couple mistakes but at the same time i I fully trust them to i i think the patriots have what it takes to Find the find the the weaknesses in this Vikings defense and take advantage of it. There's nothing in this game that makes me have faith in the Vikings. They have the NFC North all but locked up. What the Bears are going to catch them? The Lions, maybe maybe the Lions. Honestly, the Lions, the Packers. No, no, no. The, the Vikings have the NFC North locked up. I do think though this is where the wheels fall off. I think the Vikings are an early out in the playoffs. And it starts now. I think they lose back-to-back games in a short week, and they hit this bye week. The Vikings have their hands full. They got a tough draw on this Thanksgiving game. A short week, Patriots vying for that wild-card spot. And New England is 11-2 against the spread, coming off of a home game over the last since the start of last season. Interesting, right? 11-2 against the spread. And I'm going Patriots straight up here, folks. Patriots money line plus 120 gives you so, so, so much value that I think it is completely worth betting on. The Vikings, like I said, offensively, they're inept. Defensively, they're average. Patriots, offensively, they're not good either. But defensively, they're elite. You saw what they did against, and I know it's it's Zach Wilson and the Jets, but you hold them to 102 total yards. I don't think... Kirk Cousins is an elite level quarterback. I think he's a good quarterback. I don't think he's an elite level. And it's prime time. We all know what happens with Kirk Cousins in prime time. That's all I'm going to say. Give me Patriots plus 120.